So now that the leaves have officially fallen off the trees, it looks dead and cold outside. It really got me excited to start wearing a lot of my winter fragrances. So today I thought we'd go over 10 winter fragrances that I can't wait to start wearing. It's been about a year since I first broke these out. They've been sitting on my shelves collecting dust and now it's about time to start bringing them out and showing them some love again. But I do wanna let you know before we get started that this video was brought to you by beautyencounter.com. I'm sure you've heard of them before. They sell fragrances and a whole bunch of other stuff related to beauty products and skincare and things like that. The reason why we decided to partner up is because they are having a huge pre-Black Friday sale and a huge Black Friday sale as well. Starting today through November 26th, you can get $10 off when you spend $75 and $15 off when you spend $100 and the codes for these promotions will be down below on the screen and in the video description. And then their official Black Friday sale on the 27th will get you 15% off site-wide. That code is Friday 2020 again that will be on the screen and down below as well i'm telling you this so that way you guys can take advantage of these deals that they have going up and if you want to pick up any of the fragrances that we talk about today they will be linked down below to them and you could take advantage of these sales and really get some good fragrances at amazing prices and if you hold out a bit longer their cyber monday sale will get you 20 percent off site wide Again, that is on November 30th and December 1st only, and the code for that is Monday 2020. Make sure you take advantage of all these sales that are coming up. You're gonna be able to save yourself a lot of money. Let's not waste any more of your time here. Let's get into it. First fragrance up, we have M7 Oud Absolu. This is one of my personal favorite designer Oud fragrances. I love this stuff because it uses a few of my favorite notes, one of those being patchouli. Patchouli is just one of those fragrance notes that I can't get enough of. I love how it's used in fragrances. I love how it's used in this one. This is primarily an oud and patchouli type of fragrance with a bit of orange up top. The oud is nothing overpowering. It's nothing too strong. It's very easy to digest. A lot of you guys would love the scent, so don't let that put you off. But if you want something that's high quality and different than everything else out there and you want to smell different than everyone else coming up here this winter, M7 Oud Absolute is a must have. This is a killer fragrance and I can't recommend this one enough. Following that, we have Armani Stronger With You, just the original version here. This fragrance is winter for me. When I smell it, I think of sitting by the fireplace, just snuggled up and staying warm while you're getting a bunch of snow outside. This just has this warming, cozy, kind of roasting marshmallows type of smell. Kind of smells somewhat similar to Replica by the Fireplace, which is a more expensive fragrance. And um, this one is just a bit more of a designer version of that one, I guess. Uh, that one's a bit more artistic. And, you know, obviously that line by Maison Martin Margiela is focused on that. This one is still focused on being appealing to the masses and is focused on doing what designer fragrances do best, which is sell a lot and get you good compliments. That's what this one does. It's still one of my favorites, kind of a guilty pleasure for me as well. Even though it is a bit maybe playful and juvenile, I love this stuff. And again, my favorite time to wear it is in the winter time. To keep it moving here, up next we have a Spice Bomb. Just good old Spice Bomb with this thing sticking up. Uh, here we go. Good old Spice Bomb. You can't beat this one. The original is still just a great smelling scent. Very narrow atomizer. I forgot how narrow it is, but that smell, you can't beat that smell, man. That is just good. It's got cinnamon, tobacco, uh, paprika. So obviously you got to be a fan of spicy fragrances. You have to be a fan of tobacco. This isn't going to be your typical freshie, right? This kind of pushes it, but that's why it was so successful. That's why it was so popular. This is a warming, sexy smelling fragrance. And another one that just smells festive to me. It just smells like the holidays. And at the end of the day, when it comes to me looking forward to these winter fragrances, a lot of the reason why that is, is because they all remind me of the holidays. And I love the holidays. And that's why I don't like to wear them in summer and in spring and in fall even, because I like to kind of bring them out when we're in that kind of holiday season. With Thanksgiving coming up and these insane Black Friday deals going on on Beauty Encounter, Now's the time to start breaking these out, and I'm excited. Following that, we have John Varvatos Dark Rebel Rider. I'll tell you, these John Varvatos fragrances are amazing for the price. This stuff is a nice leather, balsamic, resinous fragrance. It's just masculine sexiness in a bottle. And another one that is 
very good for winter time. The performance isn't going to be the best. You are getting this at a relatively cheap price, so that kind of makes up for it a little bit. I wish it was better, but I still love how it smells so much that I don't really focus on the performance too much. I don't let it kind of ruin the scent for me. It is a bummer, but at the same time, it's still a really, really good smelling fragrance. And it's one that I could recommend to a lot of you guys just because it is so affordable. I mean, this has very good quality to also kind of help make up for the performance. I mean, it smells like it could be, you know, $60, $70 designer fragrance, but you can get these for around $35. That's a great deal. This is a great scent for winter. Following that, we have Armani Code Absolute, another one that I just love and can't get enough of. This stuff is so well done. It's got vanilla, suede, I believe amber in here as well. This is just well done to the max. Tonka bean is also very prominent, so it's a bit powdery. It's not gonna be for everyone because it's very sweet, but for me, it's winter. This is winter time. It came out last winter and I just wore it a lot. I made great memories with it and I just enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to wearing it here this winter. This is a really well done flanker that I'm super happy with. Moving along, we have Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. Another one that I just can't get enough of. This one's kind of sugary, sweet, almost has a bit of this leathery quality as well and is almost a little bit gourmand. Now, one thing you will notice here as I'm trying to spray it is that it can be a little bit weird because of how the cap is, uh, but I still think the cap is cool regardless, although they did take it away on Pure Excess Night, but that has an amazing smell. It's kind of fresh in the opening. It dries down to a bit more of a sweetness. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid between fresh and sweet a little bit, but I still think it's delicious for winter time. And again, Pure Excess Night is also really good. These are a couple great fragrances from Paco Rabanne, and I love this one. Let's keep going here. Up next, we have Halloween Man X. This stuff is a nice designer level coffee fragrance. It's not gonna be something like Killian Paris Intoxicated, which is a very high quality, very high end coffee fragrance, very photorealistic. This isn't gonna be on that level, but for about 20, 25, $30, somewhere around in there, you can get a pretty solid coffee fragrance. It's got a lot of other sweetness to it as well. And it's another one that works really well in the cooler weather. And if you want another cheapie, I'll throw this one in as well. This is CK1 Shock. This is a very, very affordable tobacco fragrance. It's nice red pipe tobacco smell. For the price of like $20 or so, you can get a big bottle of this and just be killing it. It smells so good. Performance isn't half bad for what it is. And again, you can't beat a tobacco fragrance for 20, 25 bucks. Second to last fragrance we have is Bulgari Man in Black. I love this one as well. Kind of has a bit of a similarity to Spice Bomb, but it has a bit more of an alcohol boozy quality and it's also a bit more grown up. So if Spice Bomb, is a bit too juvenile for you, maybe a bit too playful, or maybe you're concerned that you're gonna smell like a lot of other people, because that one was kind of considered the ex-boyfriend fragrance at one point. Bulgarian Man in Black would be a great alternative. It's similar, but it's also different enough to where it's worth owning both, in my opinion, and you know, I could see myself wearing this one, but I could also still see myself wearing Spice Bomb for different situations. Just depends on what you're feeling, but this one is really nice, and it's a bit more affordable than Spice Bomb as well, I believe, or maybe they're pretty close. And finally, last fragrance up, one that I just kind of had to throw in here, another kind of guilty pleasure type of scent because it's very popular, it's very played out, but I do like wearing it in wintertime a lot, and that's Versace Aero, it's just the EDT version. Yes, it is a loud, minty, bubblegummy fragrance, but it's a really good fragrance too. It's a very good performer, uh, or at least my old bottle is. New bottles, maybe not so much. You can get the EDP version now, but for me, I like the EDT as well. Uh, it just, it smells good. It works great in winter time. When I'm feeling in a bit of a playful mood or I don't want to be, I guess, taken too seriously wearing something that is a bit more dressy, I can wear something like Eros. It's casual, it's fun, it's playful. It's a good one for winter. So that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, make sure you take advantage of the crazy Black Friday and pre-Black Friday sales going on at Beauty Encounter. I have linked all the fragrances that we talked about today over to them. And I also gave you the uh, rundown on the discounts again. But as of right now, through the 26th, you can get $10 off, $75 spent, and $15 off, $100 spent. It's only for a few more days, so make sure you get on that. The codes will be down here. And then make sure you also stay tuned for the Black Friday sale, which is a 15% off. And then finally the Cyber Monday sale, which is a 20% off. Again, all that info will be 
down below so you can take advantage of that. That's great deals. Their stuff is already discounted, but with these sales coming up, you're gonna be able to get this stuff out of steel. So again, thanks to Beauty Encounter for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.